Angeles scene, the ending of the shooting that started in Los Angeles, California. Sheriff said it was pulling out a man who had been shot in an SUV. Savannah rapper Rondo Rondo, a passenger in that car, frantic. What's happening? It's your man OG Bo Beats TV. Coming your day, no special video. What's good? What's happening? YouTube. It's your man OG Bo Beats, man, and I'm back with another video. Check me out, man. Today I'm, I'm in location in the whip. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple errands to run, so I'm gonna make this video while I run these errands. I cut my air down a little bit low, so hopefully I don't get too hot. My camera's a little wobbly on my little stand right here, so hopefully that stay in place. But let's get right into it, man. So check it out. I'm making this video, right? My thoughts, my response, my reaction to the situation with Quando Rondo um, denouncing, you know, neighborhood, crib or whatever, you know, he was claiming rolling 60s, whatever the case may be. Uh, backstory on all of that, if you don't know, which you should know if you're watching this video, hopefully. But, uh, you know, Quando Rondo, he is a rapper from Savannah, Georgia. He's most notably known for getting to the altercation with King Von, which ultimately led to King Von's demise when his homeboy, Lil' Tim, um, up the strap and killed Quan, uh, King Von. So that happened months ago last year, a couple years ago. And, uh, you know, ever since then, it's been, a, it's been an issue with Quando Rondo. He's been getting chastised, you know, because he looks looked at as the bad guy. And then you throw in the mix with NBA Youngboy, and Lil Durk getting into it and OTF, they haven't beat because of that same situation. So fast forward to a couple weeks ago, Quando Rondo and his entourage was out in LA. Um, they were somewhere near the Beverly Center at a gas station. They was in a black SUV getting gas or whatever. And basically some some uh, some people rolled up, you know what I'm saying? Back door them, front door them. I don't know the whole situation, but they rolled up on them. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and the shots was fired. And Quando Rondo's homeboy, Little Pab, Little Pab, ended up getting killed, right? The story came out, then the footage surfaced of Quando Rondo reacted to his homeboy getting killed. You know what I'm saying? He was basically screaming, crying, talking to the police, all of that. So it was a lot of backlash from that. And then ever since then, the story has been, well, who did it? You know what I'm saying? Did he check in when he went to LA since he's supposed to be you know what I'm saying, neighborhood crib, all this and that, all this stuff come out, you know, more chastising the Quando Rondo. So, you know, it's been a lot of back and forth. People been throwing shots at Quando Rondo, most notably uh, Brick Baby. And then just recently, right, with this situation, with him denouncing neighborhood crib, uh, Julio Fulio from Jacksonville, Florida, you know, he's known for a lot of controversy and beef and smoking dead ops. That's really all he's known for with his music. He came out and, you know, kind of told, threw some shade at Rondo too. So it's like, it's a lot going on with Rondo Rondo, man. And I think we could get in the fact that, you know, at the end of the day, for most of these rappers, it's entertainment. Now, rap has gotten real over the years, you know what I'm saying, where it's, where the streets is very much involved in rap and everything like that. But, um, you know, it's gotten real. So it's like a lot of the rappers now really coming from the streets or they really still in the streets rapping and it's causing a lot of controversy. It's causing a lot of, you know, Rico, Fed case, indictments, snitching, you know, so it's just a whole bunch going on as we continue to see other rappers that we know, famous rappers, actually get killed and get mixed up in the situation. I mean, you look at somebody like Nipsey, he got killed by his own, you know what I'm saying, gang, so to speak. So it's deep stuff that goes along with this gang stuff. So you gotta be ready for it if you're claiming it. Now the issue with Quando Rondo is, he seemed more like a type of a, I don't wanna call him an internet gangster, but he's a younger dude. You know, he seemed like he was claiming it. I don't know what's going on, where he from. Maybe he got some real ties and affiliation to all of that, but either way, um, it don't seem like they was respecting it on the West Coast. So that's what it really boiled down to. You out on the West Coast, you ain't checked in, meaning you ain't went to the neighborhood that you claim you from. You gotta have some type of connections out there, especially if you're a famous rapper and you claiming something and you ain't got no connection. So 
you know, basically a lot of rappers came out and said, you should have checked in, you ain't done nothing for the set. Woo -woo. You know what I'm saying? So we got a lot of backlash. Then in the video, um, like I said before, it showed him reacting a certain way. A lot of people was memeing and trolling him about that. Show him talking to the police. You know, and it's just, it's just ridiculous, man. So he came out a couple days ago and basically put out a, a message. I don't know what platform it was on and said that, you know, he's going to focus on himself and his family and the people that love him. And he, he done, basically, he's kind of done dealing with all of this BS that's involving, you know, the rap and the gang and the beef because he's saying it's unnecessary. And he's saying he said he's dropping his flag, which means he's no longer going to claim the gang because there's no point when he's getting all this backlash and, you know, all of this stuff is, is coming out and people coming at him. So he did that, and then another wave of backlash came on because now people are saying you can't just do that, right? You gotta, you gotta go to the set and be jumped out. You know what I'm saying? Well, the thing about it was he probably was never jumped in, right? He was just claiming it. So at the end of the day, it's looking like this was all just some random stuff. I mean, you see this all the time. There's kids all across the, the world now that's claiming gangs, gang affiliation. And that's how it starts up. You're claiming a gang, a couple of your homeboys start claiming it, then y'all looking for somebody to get into it with, y'all start beefing with people, and then let, don't let it, another couple sets be claiming the opposition of that. And these these people, these kids doing this, don't even be from the original sets or know nothing about it. So it's, it's a lot of craziness going on like that. And of course, in the rap world, it's definitely like that. It's, a, it's all about clout chasing and looking like something, looking like an image. Um, and it's just a bad look at the end of the day. So that's going on, you know what I'm saying, with Quando Rondo. Um, my thoughts on that is basically like this, man. You know, it's just a lesson learned for everybody that's watching, that's listening, that's paying attention. The streets don't love nobody. The streets is a myth. Why would you want to claim a game that you're not even affiliated with directly, right, as far as I know? Because at this point, ain't nobody coming to his rescue saying, you know, yeah, you good to go. You don't gotta, you know what I'm saying, do that or whatever. Um, I know he had the interview with Big U, and uh, it don't seem like Big U really saying anything about it. He probably don't wanna have nothing to do with it. Cause at the end of the day, you know, Quando Rondo was out of LA, he got caught slipping. His homeboy got killed. Um, and it's just a lot going on for this guy. You gotta understand, most people blame him for King Von's murder. King Von, Although he had his issues, was a very liked and loved and a bigger rap star because he just came out of nowhere, even though he hadn't, you know, been around that long. So he got a lot of love, you know. He was more popular than, than Quando Rondo. So it's like everybody's taking his, took his side on that. So he got to deal with that pressure. You know, everywhere he go, he still get chastised about that. And then you turn around, you get chastised about being a crib. Now your homeboy getting killed. It's just all bad. And we got to understand that these these kids, these look young guys like Quando Rondo, I know he in his early 20s, right, or whatever. And they not built for all of this. This is a lot. A grown-up couldn't, you know, a lot of grown-ups can deal with all this, this drama and this mental anguish and this death. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot going on, man. And you got to really step back and ask yourself, what am I even doing this for? Because most of the time, let's be real. Most of the time, these young cats get in the rap game just to rap. And then you got to make yourself look like an image. So if you get some traction, of course, you're going to play the hard role. Everybody making songs about, you know what I'm saying? Whatever going on in the streets, whether you really involved or not. And, and this seems just like when trying to be too real goes wrong to me. That's what it seems like to me. Now, I don't know Quando Rondo's full backstory. I don't know if he really was, you know, in the life. I don't know what, what his, his family background is like. And that don't necessarily mean nothing. It's just the fact that I feel like this is the case. You know what I'm saying? He's from Savannah, Georgia. You know, he was trying to get on as a rapper. He, he did that. At this point, he still got NBA Youngboy on his side. NBA Youngboy is the most influential young rapper of the time right now, right? And he got a cult following, millions of followers. Anything he put on YouTube, it's gonna go million, it's gonna get million views within you know 48 hours every time. This is NBA Young Boy. So I think Quando Rondo is probably looking at it like, man, let me just leave all of this alone, focus on this music. I got NBA Young Boy. Now if he didn't have NBA Young Boy, I'd say it'd be a rap for him. But he got NBA Young Boy. So hey, you got the biggest 
young star in the game. Focus on your music, stay low key, you know what I'm saying, and try to let all this stuff die down. It's gonna always kind of haunt you, but at the end of the day, that's all you gotta do, man, um, because you just got yourself wrapped up in some stuff that you don't wanna be wrapped up in. And it's really nothing you can do about it at this point. You gotta just take it how it comes, you know what I'm saying? Stay off the internet, don't respond to nothing. And you'll be smooth, man. But, uh, you know, you might have some, some questions to be answered. Now you done made yourself a target by saying you denouncing a gang who people was already saying you wasn't a part of. So it's getting messy on that note, man. So, you know, hopefully somebody step in and, and get him straight and he be good to go. But, you know, that's just another lesson learned for you young cats, man, that's trying to be rappers, man. Be yourself. Be true to who you are. You ain't got to... You know, rep no gang if that's really not what you're about. You know what I'm saying? Even if you do, you ain't got to rep that in your music. See, it was a time, you know what I'm saying, back in the day when pe people always been in gangs, but it ain't always been about the gang. Now these new rappers is making it about gang, making it about all this beef and drama, and it's causing a lot of controversy, and people is dying behind it. All right? So, you know, that's just my thoughts, man. That's just my thoughts. Hopefully, y'all... You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know how you feel about it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this situation, man, because this is a crazy situation and there's a lot of people talking about it right now. So I just wanted to share my thoughts, man. It's getting pretty hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video, cut my AC all the way up. But like I said, man, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video.